Hello everybody, it's day one of this year's Australasian Formula SAE Championships here at Calder Park. Day one is just all about settling in, it's about scrutineering. We've had no action on track, that starts on Saturday. And of course you can see that live right here on the In Pit Lane website. But right now to find out what's been happening today and to preview the big event for the weekend, the coordinator of the event, Greg Maratos. Greg, come on in. Greg, uh, tell, us about, uh, tell us about today, how's it all gone? It's going well, the teams have come in, they've looked pretty, pretty confident. They've come on in. Here you go. It's organised, nice, structured fashion, and you can really tell the you know the, the quality that these kids have because they come in and everything's just laid out, ready to go. It's not oh, what's this? Where's this? They're they're, they're really ready to go. So is this your first uh, M uh, SAE? This is my first uh, event for for Formula. Yes. So um, it, it's it's taken some hard work to get up and going, but I think with the support, I mean the amount of volunteers that, that help out and the experience around. It's, it's really made the event what it is, and, and it's shaping up to be quite a good one. So we had a had a good turnout in terms of entries. What about for the uh, for the actual cars turning up? Have we had any no shows this year? Um, so unfortunately, we had um, originally we had 32 teams ready to go, um, and we've had a couple pull out, and we're down to 29. Uh, but I believe all the 29 that are here are going okay and 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 ready to 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 race come Saturday Sunday. Okay, so tomorrow is the uh, what's called the static events. We've got uh, the presentation, the design competition. Then, of course, uh, Saturday and Sunday we'll be we'll be on air live with the uh, events there. What will we see? Uh, let's look at Saturday first of all. We've got the acceleration test of the skid pan in the morning. Yep. Uh, just explain those briefly to people. Well, essentially, the the acceleration pretty self-explanatory. Zero to one hundred. How quickly can you do it? Uh, and then you have the the skid pan figure eight style layout, just testing the maneuverability of the vehicle. Later on you have the autocross, um, which is a, a run of the track, um, and then it's a single lap time trial, that one. Um, and then on the Sunday, you come into the big one, the, the, the 22 kilometre endurance, which really tests, you know, the, the strength, the physical ability of the drivers, mental ability, and then the car, how well they've designed it, engineered it, how ready it is to go. Well, we hope that it's, uh, it's certainly got off to a good start. Let's hope that it continues uh, that way over the weekend. Now, just a reminder, if you, would like to, uh, if you would like to watch the action on the weekend, it is available at the In Pit Lane YouTube channel. We'll be streaming live right throughout the weekend, Saturday and Sunday. And, of course, uh, there's an embed code down the bottom too. Go down, go down to the bottom, get the embed code, put it on your own website if necessary. That's where it is. And you can uh, also, if you'd like to join in the conversation, um, what, tw what is the Twitter hashtag? Do you have a special one this year? Uh, so uh, it is hashtag Formula SAE, capital F for Formula, lowercase letters, then capital S-A-E. Okay, so that's the hashtag Formula SAE, just uh, if you'd like to take part in the conversation. Or if you're on the In Pit Lane YouTube channel, we've got a chat there as well. We had a lot of, uh, lot of great conversation going on last year in the event, and we're hopefully to have more this, uh, this year as well. Clearly favourites for this year's event are defending champions Monash University. For 2015, the team have had to deal with major new rule changes that severely restrict aerodynamics, an area that Monash have excelled in for a number of years. I caught up with Monash Motorsport Media spokesperson Mark Stroud and I asked him how the new rules have affected the design of the team's latest car. The aerodynamics team's done really well this year. They've gone back to the drawing board, taken a whole new approach to how they're looking at things and they've actually come up with a package that's producing the same downforce figures as we had last year but with uh, less drag. Some people have said that these new rules have pretty much been designed with Monash in mind to try and stop you guys. Um, what do you think of the new rules? Oh, it's... it's look... It's a challenge and we, we thought we were up to the challenge. We weren't exactly happy with them, but, but we're, we're happy to take on the challenge and we, we did the best we could to, to deal with the, the new rules that were put in place. So coming up to this weekend, who do you think your main opposition will be? Uh, there's lots of good looking cars here. Um, ECU looking very sharp this year uh, with a really interesting aero package and, and all that. Um, Auckland very light, looking very quick. They're testing with us at, uh, at Monash University there. So definitely a few cars to look out for this weekend. Formula SAE is an international event and joining the Australasian competition for the first time is a team from Taylor University in Malaysia. Their spokesperson is Justin Mu. Um, Taylor's University, it's a brand new university. It's set up uh, by 2010. The course for School of Engineering is fairly new as well. So this time round we are 14 of us, uh, engineering students from multidisciplinary. Uh, mechanical, electrical as well as uh, chemical engineering students uh, coming here to compete in the FSAA yeah, for the first time.
So obviously your first time here, having a look around today, obviously set up day to day. Um, what's, your, uh, what, what's your opinion of the standard of the competition? Oh, the standard of the competition, it's uh, as we expected, very, very high. So we can see teams like uh, Monash and uh, Curtin and also ECU Racing. They are, they are very fantastic cars. So yeah, we've got tons to learn from them as well. So yeah, that's the, pretty much the focus for this race is to learn as much as from them. Yeah. So the car you're uh, running over here is called the TR15. What are the features of the car? I mean, when you're going into presentation, what do you think of the highlights of it? So uh, for us, the highlight for the car is the carbon fibre body because this is the first time we've built a car with a carbon fibre body. And also we have a fairly 600cc uh, R6 Yamaha engines, which is a very powerful engine as well. So this is also the first time the team that is uh, using something that this big. So, and then also running on slick tyres is also the first time for the team as well. So, pretty much all the new things are, have been done here. So, yeah, pretty. The advantages that you guys have got over the people who are here, I mean, you still have a car industry in Malaysia. Uh, are you getting much support from, uh, from companies over there like Proton and uh, Petronas and those sort of people? Um, we get much support from the Malaysian uh, Automotive Institute as well. We are partly sponsored by them in terms of uh, our accommodation here. They are, they are quite supportive in technically helping us to achieve this goal in uh, FSAA. Yep. Well, very best of luck for this weekend. I uh, hope, it, uh, hope it goes well and hope we see you back here in the future. But for now, Justin, thanks for joining us in pit lane. Yep, no problem. Thank you very much. Day one of the event did end with some controversy over the new track design. Several teams complaining that the new layout was too fast in spots and put both drivers and cars at unnecessary risk. As we left the track this evening, Clark, of course, Rob Chadwick and his team were hard at work out on the track looking to add chicanes to the area to try and slow the cars down and reduce the risk. And remember that live coverage of the weekend's on-track action can be seen right here on the In Pit Lane YouTube channel. So subscribe and you'll be able to keep up with all that's happening this weekend and for the upcoming motorsport year. Until we see you again tomorrow for another wrap-up of Day 2 of Formula SAE, I'm Brett Ramsey. Bye for now.